Hi, and welcome to Game of Drones, the show where we're committed to the future of drone warfare, but making it fun and educational for the whole family. If you've watched any of our earlier episodes, you know that we've been working on this. It's a prototype of a fighter drone that we call the VF Sumo Quad. We said then that this was an indestructible airframe, and after two or three months of constant flying, fighting, and crashing, I can honestly say that this is one of the most durable airframes I've ever come across. But today, we're really going to find out what it's going to take to bring this thing down. So we've devised a series of tests, each more devious and abusive than the last. First off, crashing into glass. We've got a selection of old windows headed for the recycling bin, and what better way to send them off than with a good old-fashioned drone crashing. Well that went well, for the drone at least. Can't say as much for the windows, this one actually broke the frame clear in half. Next up is fire, and thanks to Justin and his fire art, we got some pretty interesting things to fly through. Now this thing is basically plastic, and we use heat to form it. So if we were to fly this through the fire for too long, it would simply melt. So I'm not interested in that, but I am curious to see if the fire is going to have any effect on it whatsoever. I can't believe that the drone still looks as good as new. The fire singed the rotor tips a little bit, but otherwise it's pretty clean. So we've come out here to the Game of Drones top secret testing field so that we could really put this thing through some paces, and we needed these wide open spaces for the next test. Basically, we're going to fly this up to its operational ceiling, which is about 400 feet, and then simply turn off the power and let it fall back down to earth and see what it does to the drone. I don't think we're going to suffer much damage, maybe a broken rotor or two. Frankly, I'm more concerned about the GoPro camera. Ready? Watching it? You see it? You see it? Alright, I'm going to kill power now. Okay, I saw the GoPro fell off of it. Okay, so the GoPro fell off, and you can hear that it's beeping. What that tells me is one or two of the wires for the motor controllers probably came loose. I can see a little bend in one of these, but that's nothing to bend that back. In fact, that's fixed. The rest of the rotors look fine. The frame is clearly not affected at all. The only real damage was one of these little wires here that powered the APM. Otherwise, when we replaced it, it fired right back up and it's ready to be put back in the air. Well, look at that. The drone is practically good as new. All right. I'm almost ready to give up. It seems like nothing's going to take this thing out of the sky. So I guess it's time to step up my game. Luckily, I brought along this, the Malzberg 500 Defender Shotgun, or as I like to call it, my personal zombie boomstick. This ought to give the drone a run for its money. Remember, unless you're a trained professional, never shoot a gun at a drone. It's potentially dangerous, deadly, and almost certainly illegal. So unless you're a trained professional, do not try this at home. Now you're responsible. Locked and loaded. All right. Okay, so that shotgun blast was pretty awesome. We absolutely destroyed one of the propellers, 
We jammed up one of the motors, and I think one of the pellets actually got inside the arm and destroyed one of the motor controllers. So we replaced those electronics, but all the other electronics we left alone because they seem perfectly fine. So we're going to put this back up in the sky one more time and shoot it again just to see if we can destroy it. I say no. Look, look at that thing lifting like nothing ever happened. Look how stable that is. All right, whenever you're ready, Jizawi. Now that definitely hit it. It's coming in, coming in. <laughs> Well, that last shot seemed to knock it out of the sky, but for the life of me, I don't really see any damage. Well, I was really hoping that we would find the damage limits of this airframe, but we didn't. It knocked it out of the sky, but not as dramatically as I thought. I wonder if this thing might lift up again. After more than three months of constant fighting and crashing and two days of extensive abusive torture testing, this drone still flies as good as the day we made it. There's definitely some wear and tear. There's a few little rips and one or two of the screw holes have come loose. But as far as structural integrity is concerned, this thing still flies steady and true. The crashing through the windows and dropping from several hundred feet had no effect on it. Flying through fire had no effect on it. Even taking several direct blasts from a 12 gauge shotgun did nothing but scuff the plastic. I think that we've created a prototype of the world's most indestructible drone. We're going to continue working on this project as well as a bunch of other exciting ones, so be sure to tune in, like us, and subscribe. From all of us here at Game of Drones, I'm your host and pilot, Mark Kornblatt. Rotors up.